Cheers to the Texas Turkey Smoke Tour 2020. So much history here. I mean, barbecue in Lockhart started way before barbecue was cool. Uh, we opened in 1932 in the middle of the Great Depression out of necessity um, because my grandfather had a bunch of cattle and his friend had an empty building and so they went into business together and started a meat market and it's just grown from there. There's a lot to barbecue to love. It's the, the meats that we use have you know, they're salty, they're fatty, then the, there's a the smoke that we use as well. Uh, post oak wood has just, to me, it's like a, just a perfume of flavor. It doesn't matter, you know, if you're rich or poor or what color your skin is or everything. Everybody loves it. Everybody can come around the table and just kind of, everybody's guard just kind of comes down and becomes, you know, you become like family with just people sitting across the table from you. People come in looking for turkey breast for, for different reasons. I mean, just whether it's for a, a lighter option at a, a wedding catering or uh, you know just for lunch that day people really seem to enjoy it we sell a lot of turkey sandwiches also yeah I mean it's always been real steady for us but I think with just the extreme rise in popularity of barbecue in general across the world that the market kind of gets saturated with your main players and so the people who want to eat barbecue more often are now starting to eat other proteins as well. And so we've seen turkeys kind of a slow rise as well. How you doing? My name is Jaime. I'm at the Salt Lake Barbecue here in Driftwood, Texas. All right, uh, this is our turkey breast. We get this product from uh, Jenny O out in Wilmer, Minnesota. It's about a, roughly an eight pound, eight pound turkey breast. And then we do a brine for 12 hours. And then we'll put it in the pit at 275 degrees for another two and a half hours. And then so, so we do a lot of turkeys, we'll do a flip in our barbecue pit, and then we'll finish it off at another two and a half hours. So we'll go through about 30, 30 turkey breasts in a good day. I think it's a little underrated. I think uh, it's got plenty of style with its taste. I think it, it'll do well on a menu. Depends how you cook it though. Habanero turkey is our hottest menu item which is delicious. Let the turkey shine, you know, it's, we, we love, I mean, I, I love turkey. I'm a turkey fan, so. Today, the sandwich that we're gonna try, it's a turkey with mole sauce sandwich, and it's a play on two things that I grew up with, which was a turkey sandwich that I grew up with from El Salvador, which my family's from, and then the mole, which is from a, you know, I grew up eating during the Christmas holidays, because one of our really good friends used to make it for us every Christmas was turkey with mole. So kind of combine those two in a sandwich. I think all of us, that's what we're chasing, right, is that perfect bite where it's like it wows the, the, the person and it's like, okay, I want to keep biting more. You know, I want to keep, I want to finish this sandwich. And so that's what definitely, there is such a thing as a perfect bite. The inspiration is drawn from cooking with my father and uh, my grandfather at family get-togethers. I think turkey is a meat that is like misunderstood, okay? I think people kind of like, do it because it's something that they feel they should like at the family. So the idea of me being able to create something during the holidays that people feel like they've never had before or they take that level of turkey and like, especially people always like the dark meat in turkey. I prefer the white meat because I like to be able to try and cook the perfect turkey breast so that it kind of shocks or amazes people on how juicy it is, you know? Because I think that's something that's a misconception where people think that it has that it, the, the the dark meat is good, the white meat always needs gravy, and <laughs> it's dry. We came, we saw, we ate a lot of great turkey. That's a wrap from the Texas Turkey Smoke Tour. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers.